Today on the channel, we take a look at the new Walmart exclusive Retro G.I. Joe Awe Striker. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking a little G.I. Joe. As you guys know, G.I. Joe, near and dear to my heart as I've been a lifelong G.I. Joe fan and collector. And today I got the Awe Striker. Very happy to find this this week in my weekly travels uh, for work. Happened to go to a Walmart in Missouri, the Show Me State, and they showed me this Awe Striker right there on the shelves when I walked in the door. It was like it was meant to be. Um, the Awe Striker is one of the most iconic Joe vehicles from the 80s. Uh, one of my first vehicles I remember having, and it's time for a little story time when we talk about the Awe Striker. And this is one of the reasons I had to pick this one up. Think back, think back to 1986. Little Kyle was in kindergarten, and it was show and tell. Bring your favorite toy in, and let's show the class. And you know what Kyle brought in? He brought his Awe Striker and crankcase in for show and tell. You say, hey, that's great. Way to show off the G.I. Joe. Way to represent the brand. And I did. Well, at my kindergarten class, uh, this is old school. This is 1986. They had a, a register, like a heater along the base of the, of the walls there. That's, I guess, what heated the school. I'm not sure how registers work. I'm not an HVAC guy, but so this is where they had us put all of our show and tell items. It was very strange, but it was a big register, not too much bigger than this box, the top here, but you would put all your things on there and they go down the list and say, little Bobby, you do your uh, Cabbage Patch doll and Jimmy, you do your He-Man toy and we'll get to Kyle and his Awe Striker because that's the highlight. That's the main event. That's what everybody wants to see. They wanted to see the Awe Striker. That's how I remember it at least. Um, but anyway, so I had it on there. And uh, this register had a little gap, maybe this big, uh, between the wall and the register. And you look down there, and it goes straight into the unknown. I think it went to a black hole. I'm not sure. I think it went to a disappearing time frame, a void in, in the world, you know, whatever you want to call it. Well, the teachers walking around, we're all sitting there on the floor, you know, waiting to go and get our turn. We're all sitting there looking at her. She's walking by these registers, and you know what she did? She bumped into my awe striker. Not inherently bad. The Awe Striker, it's a tough vehicle. It can take some damage. But who can't is Crankcase. And you know what happened to Crankcase? He fell. He took a dive over that register into that black hole. Way down there. Gone. I remember running in there and the teacher looking and myself looking. We're looking down this register. Where is Crankcase? And it's all black. You can't see anything down there. It's a black hole. It's a void. I assumed it went to the basement, but... The teacher said, oh, no, you can't get to the basement. It's like It was like the Alamo. There's no basement in the Alamo. There's no basement in my elementary school, I guess. Crankcase was lost forever. I'll never forget that story. It's traumatized me to this day. I hold my kindergarten teacher accountable. I never got another Crankcase figure until the 25th anniversary line in the 2000s. I did get that Crankcase. But let's pretend for this story I didn't get that 25th anniversary Crankcase. This is the first Crankcase figure I've ever got since then. A wrong is being righted. I don't know if my teacher is still alive, but I hope it still haunts her to this day. How she ruined my uh, show and tell. She ruined my figure uh, fed or my uh, figure toys. How do you have an awe striker without crankcase? I'd have to hit Dusty. I remember having Dusty and Gung Ho. And uh, oh, Dusty and Gung Ho had to ride, drive the awe striker because crankcase was missing in action. We couldn't find him. Very traumatic for a six-year-old Kyle and one that still gets to me to this day. Uh, it's something you, you can forgive, but I'll never forget. That being said, I got a long-winded on that story, and that's why whenever I see the Awe Striker, I think of that uh, crazy moment back in 1986. But let's look at the Awe Striker. That's what we're all here for. Let's take a peek. Look at that classic inspired uh, packaging. Pops off the shelf. You see this in the store. It is 1986 all over again. Just amazing what just a picture like this brings back so many childhood memories. You guys know the Joe line. The figures, the uh, vehicles, the Cobra vehicles, they all had this motif to them. The clear window packaging with crankcase in there just brings us all back to simpler figure times when things weren't as crazy and wild and, and things were coming out all the time. And we would just go to the stores and we'd be surprised with a new vehicle on the shelf. It was much simpler times and really funner times. I don't know if that's just being a kid or if it's just funner not knowing uh, 
But, you know, G.I. Joe always told us that knowing was half the battle. So I'm not sure where that goes. Uh, you guys tell me in the comments, how would you prefer to find your figures? Would you love to go old school, just have a surprise, or do you like to know what's coming out? But Crankcase, the star of the show, the window right there. We'll get to him. We'll get to all of it. Just love that artwork, though, that Starburst artwork. Just really, really cool. We got the, the shooting of the gun up at the top, kind of crossing over the G.I. Joe logo. Just absolutely love it. Like I said, we got Gung Ho and Dusty along with Crankcase along for the ride. This was a great vehicle that I spent many time playing with in my childhood. Probably one of my all-time favorite Joe vehicles. Uh, let's look at the top packaging right there. There it is. A little black with the logo. Get the little uh, product shot on the side on this one. Same one on the other one. Bottom, a lot of legal fun talk. And then, of course, we got the back. Look at those beautiful pictures. You got the file card. I've told it. I say it in all my reviews. We need file cards like this. They don't have to be this big. Put them a little smaller. Marvel Legends at least gives us a little blurb of maybe a sentence. These file cards go all out. But there's the Striker, what it looks like. Uh, for those of you who didn't want to follow the directions back in the day, you'd look at the back of the box and say, okay, this is what it looks like. We'll figure it out from there. Um, so there it is. Couple different pictures. You got crankcase there. You got the file card. You got the legal ease down here and adult assembly required. Don't swallow the pieces, all that fun stuff. Let's read about crankcase. Roll the AWE striker driver. Primary specialty, the motor vehicle driver. Secondary specialty, armor. Birthplace, Lawrence, Kansas. He must be a Jayhawk. A uh, crankcase is a former race car driver who's at his best when the speedometer is redlined. Good for you, crankcase. And I still think to this day about crankcase probably living down in the basement of that old elementary school. It was later closed and turned into a nursing home. I don't even know what it is now. I should probably break in in the middle of the night, get down there, get that like goggles on, the expedition thing, and put the little light on my head and the hard hat and dive down there. And I'm going to find my childhood crankcase. Probably looks like pristine condition. Um, maybe I won't, but there it is. Let's open this guy up. Let's see what all the fuss is about in here. Um, we'll see if we have to put these things together or they're pretty much assembled in pack. I'm not sure. Whoa, there it is. A little box, of course. Nothing fun inside. Almost hate to throw this box away. It's so beautiful, but see you later. All right, got crankcase by himself here. Of course, you got the old school Joe instructions. Look at that, we got four wheels. And then you got a, ooh, it even comes with the figure stand. Let's open this part up. This is an easy one. Um, you got the two antennas that come on it. Of course, I remember as a kid, these antennas would get bent back, and I always had the stress in the plastic. Always made me upset. Got the little uh, antenna whip thing there. The classic gun on top. And then really cool, they give you the old school uh, figure stand, but it says crankcase on it. So that is awesome. But it shouldn't be too hard to put together, it looks like. Uh, I remember this being more complicated as a kid. I could be wrong. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe as a kid, everything just seems more complicated. I don't know. Um, let's open it up. We're going to put this bad boy together. Like so. Get all this. Let me go long. See you later. All right, let's get this bad boy together. The wheels obviously pop on extremely easy. I remember this as a kid. I would have them, I'd pop the tires off and pretend like the Joes, this broke down, they're changing tires, and Cobra came out and stopped them. I remember doing that a lot as a kid. You know, when you're a kid playing with your Joes, you have a lot of go-to scenarios and things you'd reenact and, and do. Uh, and I was no different than most kids. See you later. Let's get Crankcase out of here. Let's take a little... A little break for putting together this difficult vehicle here. Crankcase out. Here it is. See you later. Watch out, Lemmy. Lemmy's just chilling down here eating a bone. While I'm playing. See you later. Crankcase is awfully white. I, I live in the Midwest, not too far from Kansas. I was actually in Kansas last week for work. There is the sun in Kansas. I don't know if you guys knew this. Uh, taking it back to wrestling, he looks a little bit like Seamus. Um, I don't know. Uh, the quality is just not the same on these new retro Joes compared to the old ones. Yeah, they're three and three four scale. Uh, they do got a little bit more articulation, like at the wrist. Um, they got kind of an ab crunch to them and stuff, but it feels very cheap. It almost feels like a dollar store figure. You can see crankcase there. Looks like Seamus, like he just hasn't seen the sun in forever. I don't know. I guess it's okay. You know, they got to keep the price point down. I think this was twenty four dollars. Uh, 
it's just tough. I, it's just interesting times in the figure world. Part of this, I think, is nostalgia. Well, a whole lot of it is nostalgia. Uh, I, I think you're crazy if you think little kids are probably wanting to buy this. There's, there's of course, some, but not tons are, are jumping out. See you later. Don't need that. Oh, we got stickers. I'll put the stickers on later. We won't do that in the video here, but there's the sticker sheet that comes along with it. And then, of course, the instructions. All right, like so. Instructions. So it's funny, is half these things were already done before we even started. So that's cool. I'm okay with that. I'm all right with uh, instruction or it being. Oh, maybe not. I thought it was all put together. I was wrong. So I remember how to do this. I believe it's been a while, like I said, but fairly easy. Snaps on in everywhere. Uh, maybe. I won't bore you guys with this. We could probably take this offline, but. I'll stick in the cage at least to show it. Hey, Kyle is doing something. He is putting something together. You know, old 1985-86 Kyle would say, Dad, you know, put this together. I'm going to go get my pajamas on. You have this all ready for me. I got things to do. I got wars to see. I got cobras to kill. Um, but boy, yeah, this brings it back. You know, I'm not all in. I should, I rephrase that. I'm all in on the figures. I said I wasn't going to be. As you guys know, they're the three three force card figures. We talked about them on the show a while back. I got the first wave. A little Easter egg you'll see in weekly purchases this week, depending on when you're watching. Uh, I did get the uh, Series uh, 2 this week. I found these. So I'm all in on the single card releases. I'm just not sure on these vehicles. I don't have room. I don't really want to open these vehicles. Uh, if I had another wing of a house where I could turn into a Joe room, and if I knew these were going to be sticking around, uh, I'd be all in. I'd pick this Joe's up. I'd build a huge diorama. I'd bust out my aircraft carrier. I still got my aircraft carrier. I'd bust that out. I'd set up a big thing. But I don't have faith in a long-term G.I. Joe line. Uh, the six inch is the most faith I've had in a long time. I think this retro thing, it might go for a year or two. We'll get a couple of, we'll get a Rattler. We'll get a couple of big vehicles, a couple of lines of figures, and that'll be it. That's what my gut's telling me. I hope I'm wrong. I, I want a cold slither pack. That would be great. Um, but there you have it. So here it is. Crankcase inside the AWE Awe Striker. Uh, Got to put the stickers on it, but a cool vehicle and one that really brings me back. This is one of the most iconic Joe vehicles, like I said before. Absolutely love this one. I'll probably display it on my desk. Just really cool. Uh, real good connection. Uh, obviously, the story I told. Uh, just a lot of history with me in this vehicle um, that I'll never forget, as you can see now. Here, some 34 years later. I have not forgotten that story. Um, so there it is, the Oz Striker. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Put your notifications on. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, you got any Awe Striker memories? You got any Joe memories from this time period? Uh, let me know in the comments. I think we all, all people of my age, have a G.I. Joe story where you buried a figure in the backyard and forgot about it and lost him, which I did with Destro. I think I've told that story before. Um, there's a lot of good Joe stories out there. So please leave yours in the comments. Uh, until next time... For my boy Crankcase, finally back in my possession, the Awe Striker, Lemmy down here bugging me on the floor. I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.